My favorite UD memory would be my So my favorite UD memory was actually My favorite UD memory was definitely So my favorite UD memory would have to be from JSB's class. We got to do a group presentation. My group did it on the relationship of Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky, and Hillary Clinton. Uh, we all dressed up and did name tags. And I think JSB's reaction and just the classroom's reaction and our fun during the project was what made it the most memorable memory for me at UD. My favorite UD memory is Collaborating with all of my classmates, we come from so many different backgrounds and work experiences and so just collaborating with them and learning what they do and what we do in my position um, and just making things happen. Uh, my favorite memory at UD has to be the choir tour uh, 2017, that was last year. The choir went to Hawaii and I don't know if you've ever been to Hawaii, but it is paradise and I did not, I did not want to come back. <laughs> so my favorite UD memory was actually sweeping Loris uh, both this past year and uh, this current year uh, during baseball season. Uh, it was incredible wins and it was uh, just so cool to see our team kind of come together. Uh, last year we had a walk-off win against them and this year we battled back to win this, uh, to get the sweep again. So it's always pretty sweet beating Loris. Uh, my favorite memory here at UD was definitely lacrosse team. Um, starting the team back in 2013 um, was a great for me. Um, receiving honors, you know, the games, the high stake games that we played, there's nothing like it. And I, would I wouldn't trade anything for the world. Uh, my favorite UD memories is uh, the 2016-2017 uh, homecoming. Uh, it was a great night. Uh, we had all the faculty of the university come together and professor and, you know, and student. We had it was a great night. We have fun. My favorite UD memory would have to be spending this past summer in the library doing inventory and just being able to hang out with all the staff and maybe taking a cat nap or two in the stacks. <laughs> but just being able to spend the summer with my best friend, um, you know, doing work in the library. So some of my favorite UD memories have to be down here in the Sergeant Jeffrey B. Dodge Veterans Center. Having a place of community, place of study, and some friends down there really made uh, my experience here uh, amazing. Um, my, my favorite, the UD memory, is the snow. Uh, why I say snow? Actually, I haven't seen the snow in my life. Uh, I come from Taiwan, and Taiwan is located in the subtropical area. Um, so when I saw the first time, the, snow, the first snow in the dorm, I, I still remember is how excited I am. My favorite UD memory would be my campus visit when I was a senior in high school. I came in late February and I was so nervous. I really never expected to go to a small, a small school. And UD it was just a beautiful campus. There was snow everywhere. It was beautiful. All the people were so friendly. And honestly, it was the best experience I could have had just um, with my student ambassador who gave me my tour, my admissions counselor. I cried in his office because I committed on the same day as my visit. And I cried in his office because I was so emotional but so excited because I knew that UD was going to be my home. I would have to say my favorite UD memory would be my first visit to UD. It was very memorable to me. I had great student ambassadors show me around campus. I remember going to Professor Ben Bartle's class and he was very animated for those of you that have had Ben Bartles, you know how he is, and he was like that when I was there. And I also met my eventual advisor, Professor Phil Baskerville, and I had a really great conversation with him about the department and where the program was going at the time, and I could really see myself coming here after that first visit. My favorite UD memory um, is probably meeting a lot of uh, great people. I mean, this campus is so diverse. I've met so many people from all over the place, and it's just a blessing that uh, I, I get to be able to meet all these people and get to know who they are and where they came from. One of my favorite UD memories would be living with all of my friends and just constantly having a great support group. My favorite UD memory would be just getting to live with some of my best friends, especially senior year taking on nursing school. From our late nights up studying into the wee hours of the morning to our celebratory trips to Los Aztecas after passing our tests, 
I can't imagine getting through nursing school without them. My favorite UD memory was definitely Honors Convocation. I remember in the beginning of the year, I told my boyfriend it would be cool if I win a student of the year. And when it actually called my name, it was just like a dream come true. And just walking on the stage was very emotional for me. And then I go back and I hear my name again. So I'm just like, it was the best moment of my life. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Coach Y, uh, Paul Ichowski. Uh, I've had a great four years uh, under him as my head coach. I've learned a lot from him, uh, not only in baseball, but in life in general. I've, I would not be here, standing here, the person I am today, if it wasn't for Greg Wolf. So I'd like to say thank you and fire it up. At my time here at UD, I'd really like to thank Dr. Hoffman for the influence that he has had on my uh, educational career. If it wasn't for Dr. Hoffman's sustainable UD course, I would not have switched my major to sociology from nursing. I would not have been a part of the Calafity Fellowship Program. And quite honestly, I just don't know where I'd be right now. Some people who really made an impact here on my time at UD are all the nursing professors for all their time and support, and as well as the alumni office staff. A professor that made a difference was definitely Professor Muzinga. He no longer teaches here, but when I came to visit the school, he really showed me a welcoming environment, and he took me in as his niece, and I call him my uncle, and he's always pushing me to just be the best version of myself, so I really admire him, and I love him. I would like to give a shout out to Professor Dale Easley. I only had him once for geology, but he's probably the only professor that could ever get me interested in learning about rocks and minerals. Uh, shout out to the library staff. They're always very helpful and willing to go the extra mile, stay the long hours in the library to help you with research projects, and they just really make you feel like you can do things even when you're stressed out. Uh, professor Rafik is my favorite professor because uh, he was very open, he was very uh, friendly, and very understandable, and also flexible. I will say Phyllis from International Student Service Office because she really is our American mom here because we have every problems, issues. We go to ask her uh, like details, things like how to buy a car to like a uh, visa of our, uh, our visa problem. She can handle it, everything for us. So I will say Phyllis. Uh, a professor that's made an impact here at my time at UD had to be Dr. Thomas. Um, he's been a very challenging professor to have. His courses definitely make me work harder than uh, any of the other ones, but uh, I think I've came out much better for it. I'd like to give a shout out to specifically Margot Kettles for being my boss over the last four years. Margot's great to work for. Most definitely Coach McGovern. Um, he's always been there for me. Um, on and off, like behind wrestling. Even if it's not wrestling related, he's always there for me. Um, probably the two professors that have made the biggest impact on my life are the Bartles family. And so Professor Bartles and JSB, each of them in their own way have taken my ability of a student and just made myself believe in it. I would like to give a shout out to one of my favorite UD um, faculty here, uh, Kim Hilby. Um, in her social stratification class last year, I learned so much that I did not know beforehand. And she's helped me through my time here at UD and also grow as a person as well. And so I would thank her for that. Uh, so my shout out to a professor is Irving Duran, who I had three times in a row, back to back to back. And they're all tough um, technology classes. And so I was so ready to be done with his classes, but I really learned a lot from him. So shout out to you, Irving. Craig Marty for teaching me how to love marketing. I was a little scared of him at first, I'm not gonna lie, but um, he's been a great professor and I've really enjoyed learning from him and also Rafi Rafiq Zeno. Um, they've both been really great professors for me. I've been very lucky for the past few, four years to be a student ambassador in the admissions department and I've really gotten to know Verna Urban and she is such a sweet lady and she has helped me through some tough times you know that you experience in college and she has been so sweet and so heartwarming and so um, gentle offering me prayer all the time and just reaching out to me to see how I'm doing all the time and I really think that I would not have gotten through college without um, her support and help and I'm really thankful for her. Yeah. <laughs>
My most embarrassing moment here at UD would be freshman year when I accidentally shipped all of my books to some random old lady's house and then I had to figure out how I was going to get them back before the first day of classes. But I did get them eventually. I think, okay, so one of my most embarrassing moments, probably freshman year and the first day of class I wore my pants inside out and I didn't notice until I got back to my dorm and no one said anything to me and I just wonder to this day how many people noticed that. My freshman year I was giving a tour to a student and I was walking and I was talking to the student during the winter time and uh, as I was walking into the building, I just walked directly into a tree and had scratches all across my face. I looked like Harry Potter uh, for about three weeks. So I definitely have to say that I really need to pay attention more uh, on my tours. So definitely running into a tree during a tour. So, yeah. I was living in Donnell Hall and I went to go take a shower and I didn't bring a key and little did I know my roommate would leave and lock the door. So I went to my room and found out I was locked out in a, only a towel and there was a male RA on duty, nobody else on my floor. So I had to sit outside of my dorm in only a towel for about an hour until my roommate finally came back to unlock the door. My most embarrassing memory is tripping on the street, going from um, MTAC to the library. Most embarrassing memory is literally every time I trip while I'm going to class. Probably when I fell walking across the quad with all of my books. So one of my kind of embarrassing moments, freshman year, I woke up at about midnight and I realized that typical freshman move, I had forgot my brand new laptop computer in one of my classrooms. So at midnight, I was sprinting in my pajamas across campus, freaking out because I just knew that I was not going to get my computer back or someone stole it and I called security and I had to let them let me in the building for the tech building at about two in the morning, I think, when I finally called them to get my computer out that I had left in class that day. Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Merci beaucoup. Go Spartans! Woo woo! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! Go Spartans! <laughs>